everybody, welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today we have some brand new WWE action figures, guys, including the brand new Walmart exclusive Survivor Series Jeff Hardy. Guys, look at this beauty right here. I am super freaking excited for this figure right here. I freaking am so hyped. Um, I want to give a huge shout out for making this video possible and for making this figure possible right here. I want to give a huge shout out to my boy Jesus, crowned underscore Jesus on Instagram. Absolute list, just, just a freaking list legend in the community. Great customizer, great pick fetter, overall great dude. And he is what made this video possible. He uh, hit me up and he said, you know what, Brad, Jeff Hardy, the Jeff Hardy Survivor Series Elite is up on Walmart.com right now. He sent me the link and he said, go, go, go. There was three left in socks, so I went ahead and grabbed one. He grabbed two of them and we called it a day here. And I'm just so excited to have this figure, guys. I have been waiting for this one to release. And I think that, uh, I think like the, the Shinsuke was up for a little bit. I think the full set of Survivor Series at least was up for just a you know a little bit. Um, he didn't show me the rest of them, but you know I wanted to get that order in as fast as possible, so I just went with Jeff. I think he's going to be hitting stores very soon, so I didn't want to order the full set anyway. But I wanted to get this Jeff as soon as possible and review it for you guys. So we are going to take a closer look at this Jeff Hardy, crack him out of the packaging, and just take a look at him. I am super hyped for that head sculpt. It's just a beautiful looking figure, very freaking hyped for it. On the back right here, you can see it says the Charismatic Enigma Reform Team Extreme with his brother Matt and joined Team DX who swept their Survivor Series 2006 match. That sounds so weird. Who swept their Survivor... I don't know. That's that's a weird way to say that. Match highlights. Rest of the wave here. Alicia Fox, Jeff Hardy, Shinsuke, and Don Morocco. Jeff Hardy definitely the best in the set. I'd say Shinsuke's next, then Morocco, then Fox, just because the women's figures. Yeah, yeah, you know, you know about those. But what a freaking high figure, man. It looks freaking fantastic. But not only did we get this, guys, but we also picked up these figures right here from Mattel. Mattel Mattel sent us these, and I'm super excited for these. Thank you so much to Mattel for making this review possible for these figures. Not only are we going to crack Jeff out, guys, but I do want to take a closer look at Iron Sheik and Mr. Perfect because those are brand new GameStop exclusives. So huge shout out to Mattel for making this possible and sending us the Retro Fest, Mr. Perfect, and the Retro Fest Iron Sheik. I could not find these anywhere, and Mattel makes it happen and hooks us up here with these figures. I've never owned an Iron Sheik Elite, so I'm happy for that. And I have not only owned the blue version, of Mr. Perfect, but I also own the orange version, which came in the Elite 4-pack, and then the other one was what? I can't even remember. What the, what the other one come with? Was it a Hall of Fame figure? I can't, I can't freaking remember Jack. Maybe I got it in a figure lot. I don't know, but we are going to take a closer look at these. We already unboxed a Pat Patterson before on the channel, so if you guys want to check that out, please do, but they also sent us this. Thank you so much, Mattel. I already have a mock version and a loose version, so I guess I'm going to do a version enclosed now, I guess. I'm not sure, but uh, we are going to take a closer look at at all of these figures. Iron Sheik, Mr. Perfect, and the beautiful Charismatic Enigma. But I did want to give a huge shout out to Mattel for sending us these three figures. Thank you so much, Mattel. Go pick this up. And this is a Walmart exclusive, and these two figures are GameStop exclusive. If you want to grab any of these guys, hit up your local GameStops, hit up your local Walmarts, and try to find Iron Sheik, Mr. Perfect, and p -Pat. But all right, guys, let's shut the hell up, and let's go ahead and crack all these guys out of their packaging. So the next segment you will see, all of these guys will be out of their packaging. Besides p -Pad. I'm sorry, p -Pad. We're, we're not going to look at you because we already have. Don't be pissed at me, p -Pad. I see the face you're giving me, and I'm not, I'm not liking it. Go to your room. You're grounded. All right, guys, so here are all three figures out of their packaging, guys. My God, is this Jeff Hardy freaking beautiful, guys. We're just going to dive into this hoe. You zoom in on the figure, not the box here. Look at this figure right here, man. This thing is absolutely fantastic. I want to get an even closer shot to this head skull. Look at this beautiful Jeff Hardy, man. I freaking love it. The 2006 7-ish look, man, I freaking loved it. When he was rocking the braids and he looked great. Got the purple going throughout the hair, man. I freaking love this. I love the likeness to Jeff Hardy. We finally got, like, a different looking head scan. He looks just like he does on the box. Just a fantastic looking head sculpt. You're going to hear me say this a bunch because it just looks so good, man. I freaking love this. And I can't wait till this thing hits retail because I'm going to grab like 17 of them just for the head sculpt and the parts because I'm going to do some different fix-ups. I'm probably going to use this head sculpt for a face paint hardy. Probably paint up the braids a little bit. Give him some good and different looks for fix-ups and customs and things of that nature. I cannot wait to do it, man. That's like my favorite thing is, you know, taking different parts from different figures 
plugging them onto other parts of figures, painting them up, making them look different, making my own unique fix-ups. That's my whole favorite part, man. And this figure is just the standalone like uh, embodiment of that figure is what we're going to do here. But you guys can see he has black and green on this arm band. You can see underneath that he has like blue going on. Over here you have some purple, lime green, and black arm band looking good as well. A little bit of bleeding on the bicep. Not my favorite, but you know what? We'll get over it. On the back of the hoodie you do have the Jeff Hardy logo. In the pants you have regular black Jeff Hardy pants, white and black kick pad feet. And we are going to take this hoodie off because I want to see what he looks like underneath the hoodie. And uh, you guys will notice that he does not have his tattoos. And so uh, there's no neck tattoos. There's no shoulder tattoos. No back tattoos or anything of that nature. If you wanted to get all those tattoos on there, all you'd have to do is switch the arms with the entrance grates to get, you know, partially the tattoo on his shoulder and his neck. If you wanted all of his tattoos, I'm not sure if you could do that. I don't think there's a figure out there unless you were to swap the arms with the Elite 57. And in that case, you wouldn't have a t-shirt on there. So if you just wanted the shirtless look, you'd have to switch it with the Elite 57, which would probably be a bomb ass fix up. That's something you could do. There's some scuffing right here. Not agreeing with that, but on the belt, you do get the white belt and you get the gold going over the top, which I really enjoy. Just a freaking beast of a figure, man. I freaking love Jeff Hardy. Definitely one of my favorites of all time. And this, this figure is just so great. I freaking love it. And I'm so happy to have it in my collection. Thank you so much, Jesus, for allowing me to pick this figure up because without you, I wouldn't have known it was up on Walmart.com. So definitely be on the lookout for Walmart.com, guys. I mean, this thing just popped up there and I grabbed it and I'm sure it's sold out by now. Um, so if it's not, I'm going to go grab them right now before any of you can get it. I'm just kidding. I think it is sold out. I think it's sold out uh, right after I picked up my figure. I wouldn't do that to you guys. But seriously, uh, this Jeff Hardy's fire. I freaking love this hoodie. This Jeff Hardy's fire. Fire, fire, super fire flames. All right, guys, so the next figure that we're going to take a look at, I guess, is Iron Sheik. Now, this figure comes to us from Mattel. Again, like I said, thank you so much to Mattel for sending us this. This thing looks great. I've never owned an Iron Sheik figure before. If you guys don't follow him on Twitter, follow him on Twitter. Dude is absolutely hilarious. He makes me smile every day from his tweets, so definitely go check him out. But he does come with his headgear here. He also comes with this beautiful white and gold robe. I love the length and, like, how good this feels and looks. It's so super high quality. You guys know the Retro Fest figures always come with some sort of cloth accessory. On his trunks, you do have the camel logo there. You have the beautiful orange trunks going on. On the butt, you have nothing going on. But on the legs, I love this. I love his boots. You have the camel going on with the red, blue, and gold boots. You have his socks, and he is not on ball joints, so you can't pop those off. But I love this Iron Sheik, man. I love the head sculpt going on. Just look at him. He looks like freaking... He just looks hilarious. He looks happy. He looks like he just told somebody to go F themselves. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, go follow him on Twitter. Twitter, you'll understand what I'm saying, but he also comes with these massive wooden bats or sticks or whatever you want to call these, or I really don't know what to call these. If you guys uh, know the story or whatever behind these, please let me know down in the comment section below if you guys know what these are or whatever. They're like mallets slash bats slash I don't know what the hell these are, so somebody let me know down in the comment section below what these are supposed to be or what the story is behind these, why he comes with these, but I love the torso they give Iron Sheik. I just love Iron Sheik, man. What a freaking baller. If I could add him to the pick fed, I I totally would. I, fr I love Iron Sheik, man. Don't sleep on Iron Sheik, man. He'll come out there and become extreme champion. Don't sleep on Iron Sheik. So there's the Iron Sheik rocking the robe and the nice, beautiful bat slash mallets and the headgear looking like a freaking baller. And then the last figure that we have, guys, is the Mr. Perfect, which is also from Mattel, which is the GameStop exclusive Retro Fest, which looks great. I was really excited for this when they first showed it, obviously. I'm not a huge Kurt Hennig slash Mr. Perfect fan, but he was a really good in-ring performer and uh, he comes with the black Intercontinental Championship, the older logo. What a great looking title belt. It's obviously the black version of what the current Intercontinental Championship looks like today. He also comes with this right here, and this is a white towel. Now, I don't know if anybody's ever came with this. If somebody has came with this, please let me know down in the comment section below. But it is a cloth towel, so he can hold the towel. You know, he used to come out with the towel wrapped around his neck, and they didn't do the Samoa Joe style towel. They actually gave us a cloth towel that you can wrap around, and I'm sure if you wanted to, you could put this with your Jeff Hardy uh, for fun photos or something maybe I'm not sure but you could do that right there that looks pretty fire I don't know how you get it to stay maybe tape it for pictures or something but 
There's the option. If you wanted to do that, you could probably loop that up and do something with it. If he had open hands, this is like another Hardy that didn't include the open hand, so he couldn't hold it and throw it in the crowd while he's fighting Sting, if you get what I'm saying. But this is, uh, you can get Mr. Hennig to hold this, or Mr. Perfect, I should say, to hold this if he wanted to. And uh, it's very simple to do that. But I like the head sculpt. I like what they got going on there. This is his first black attire. The first one we got, I think, was in the light blue and black attire. Then the other one was the orange and black attire. Now we have the black attire that has Mr. Perfect on the butt with the lines and everything. Large knee pads, Mr. P going on on the boots, and a great Kurt Hennig slash Mr. Perfect figure. I think the head sculpt's fantastic. What a great looking sculpt. And uh, I already have one of those in the crowd, so that's nice. But that is pretty much it, guys. We've reviewed all three of the figures. Again, P-Pad, I'm so sorry, son. Don't look at me like that, P-Pad. I'm sorry. I don't know what you want from me. But I freaking love this Jeff Hardy, man. I'm so happy to have this. I'm so happy to have Sheik and Mr. Perfect. Thank you so much to Mattel again for sending us these figures back here. Not the Jeff Hardy. Again, I got that myself. But uh, the Jeff Hardy looks great. Again, a huge shout-out to Jesus for making this video possible and hooking me up and finding this for me. But I think that is going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the Survivor Series Elite Jeff Hardy. We're going to have a toy hunt tomorrow, which is going to be epic as crap. If you guys are excited for the toy hunt, hit me up in the comment section below. It's going to be epic. We got a massive freaking haul, man. Freaking massive. And you guys will see that in tomorrow's video. But I figured you guys would want to see the Survivor Series Jeff Hardy Elite, and I wanted to show it off to you guys. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my damn toys. Let me know what you think of all the figures down in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video thank you p pat stop it